so I have as my guest today uh, from Cyprus, uh, Kiriakos Tramontanelis, uh, the CEO of Cyprus Audit Services Limited, a uh, certified and accredited audit and assurance firm based in Cyprus, specializing in the provision of international tax planning solutions to overseas clients such as company information, administration, tax assurance, audit, accounting services, uh, and, and so much more. Uh, hello, Kiriakos, and thanks a lot for being with me today. Hello, it's great being with you. Um, as, a first, as a first question, uh, so advising clients on compliance, right, on a daily basis and raising flags uh, is, of course, part of your, of your uh, um, activity. Um, has it ever happened to you, for example, that a client, be it a corporation or an individual, to, to, to just disregard your advice and to believe that they know better than you do? It does happen from time to time. And usually these corporate clients, they want to open bank accounts in various European countries and they come across denials because it's very hard to open a bank account unless... The KYC, operate, the KYC, AML, and all the banking requirements are being satisfied. Mm -hmm. So this is one example where our corporate clients, either in Cyprus or in other European countries, mainly European countries, try to open bank accounts on their own. Mm -hmm. So they pay because the banks want to know who they are. They need to reach up to the ultimate beneficial owner they need to understand what they do what the group structure does how they do it a and lot of background checks yes and of course they need to know their source of funds uh, how are they making their money mm -hmm. so we see this type of clients that they get rejected from the service providers themselves because they are regulator and they need to know who their clients are and of what course. i mentioned earlier on we also do the screening so we screen the ubo's we need to know if they have clean criminal records and what have you. Uh, imagine, imagine Kiriakos, a potential client, right, that is approaching you uh, for the first time with a with a, um, a service initiation, regardless of that of that of that initiation. What would be the first thing you would like that client to know about your company? Yeah, we would like to we would like them to know that we we serve clients all over the world, so we are very accustomed to the overseas requirements of what is required. We are fully transparent so they can rest assured they know with whom they're dealing with, who is our regulators, what are our fees. We don't do any tricky things with our clients. We're fully transparent. We love tax. That's why we're doing this. Mm -hmm. That's why we can create companies anywhere in the world. We love tax and we love minimizing tax. And of course, it's very important for them to know that we never lost a client. Uh, we send clients away sometimes, but we never lost a client since the inception of the company. That's so, great. <laughs> yes. Uh, what would be what would be the most important skills that you're looking for, tax professional? Uh, he has to love it. I mean, tax professionals need to love what they're doing because it is complicated. And it requires a certain level of skill set that you need to have. Mm -hmm. and you need to be always up to date. So uh, we will look if someone is passionate about it, if they are up to date with the current announcement, current changes mm -hmm. in all the, the regulations. Mm -hmm. Of course, we change every few months. So if we're talking about VAT, then it's a whole different matter because VAT regulations are more frequently being updated than the tax regulations, which are slower. Okay. Mm -hmm. And of course, they need to have, of course, the credentials to be a tax expert, the yeah. academic background and to understand everything. And I would say they need to have some business acumen because mm -hmm. a tax advisor needs to understand the operations of their clients. And if their clients operate within a group, they, they need to fully understand the group implication of tax in various jurisdictions and what their proposed action could trigger as a result. So the candidate needs to be very good in English. <laughs> <laughs> super, super. Kiriakos, I know, I, know, I know you have a football team, right? An internal football team. It's a small uh, football <laughs> team that we finance and we promote. Uh, I have... I have I have I have two questions on the football uh, on the football. Yes. So first of all, how did you come up with the idea, right? Do you believe, sorry, um, that football is uh, is king? I'm a bit frustrated about that, but 
<laughs> okay, the idea came to me. Some friends who are playing football came to us, asked for our support, and this is what we did. And since then, we are we are main sponsors, and we really love and enjoy watching their football, their their games with the rest of the teams, with our team. Basically, we go there and watch the have some beer, we have some good time. Of course, football is the king because everyone loves football, millions of uh, football fans, and because football is a bit, I think it's the most diverse in terms of uh, many, there are many players on the field, so you get connected with many players. There are, well, it's a good place where you see some underdog teams having a chance, and this is what I think relates to, makes lots of people be passionate about their local football teams. That's why the love came, I think. But to say the truth, there are other many nice, interesting sports as well nowadays. So, yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> um, what would be, one last question, what would be your superpower, Kiriakos? I don't have any superpowers. No, I don't believe that. Everybody has a superpower. No, no, we don't have it. Just, you, you are born or you create from your experience some characteristics that can be helpful at your professional and personal life. Personally, I think um, I have at the company level, I have, I'm a very hands-on person and I have uh, adopted and created some very good organizational skills, which in our profession, because we're dealing with clients' monies and clients' mm -hmm. operations, as well as thousands of correspondence, thousands of telephone calls, tons of uh, paperwork. You need to be very organized to be able to know what's going on, yeah? And uh, manage your teams. So we need to be very well organized to be able to deliver at the top level. At the personal level, I think I'm, I'm a relentless person. I like to... I'm also a curious person. I like to learn new things and adopt new skills. So I'm always checking what's going on. A feature basically or a characteristic that you're born with or I don't know, something triggered. Super, <laughs> super, super. Thanks a lot. Uh, thanks a lot for being, uh, for being with me today. It's a pleasure. Thank you.